Coming up on High School Quiz Show this week, we have Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School. <laughs> Taking on Andover High School. next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, as many as 130 high school teams throughout Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of 16 spots in this year's competition. So the goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. And today's matchup has Andover High School taking on Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School. And on the Andover team. Uh, we have Rita Hahn, Ian, Frank, and Alex with alternates on the sidelines, AJ and Lily, and coaches, Alan Hibido and Krista Hibido. Nice round of applause for that team. <laughs> and representing Lincoln Sudbury, uh, we have Andrew, Dana, Megan, and Isabel with the alternates Vincent and Dan and coach Desiree Butter and an assistant coach Nick St. George. <laughs> All right, so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head -head round, a category round, and the lightning round. And we'll start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So if teams are ready, I know I am. I say, let's go. What state is home to the Kennedy Space Center, the hub of the nation's human spaceflight program? Yes, Rita Hunt. Florida. Yes. In September 2015, what automaker was rocked by scandal for installing illegal software that enabled it to cheat on emissions tests? Yes, Megan. Volkswagen? Yes, the proton, the neutron, and the electron make up the atom. Which of these subatomic particles has the smallest mass? Yes, Andrew. Electron? Yes. Former NBA star and Sherlock Holmes fan Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has written a new novel about what older brother of the famed detective? Yes, Isabel. Mycroft Holmes. That is correct. Okay, take a look at your screens in front of you. You will see a picture. In 2015, NASA researchers confirmed that seasonal dark streaks seen here are evidence of flowing water on which planet? Yes, Megan. Mars. Yes. To help address concerns that the Earth's rotation is slowing down, what was added to clocks on the last day of June 2015? Yes, Rita Hahn. A second? Yes, uh, a leap second or second. Uh, the phrase, the primrose path, meaning a life of ease and pleasure that leads to destruction, was coined by what character best known as Hamlet's sweetheart? Yes, Isabel. Ophelia. That is correct. A sprain happens when you stretch or tear what tough fibrous tissue that connects bones to other bones? Yes, Andrew. A tendon. No, and over. Do you want to try, Frank? A ligament. A ligament is correct. Again, take a look at your screens in front of you. Uh, the next question is coming up right now. Hello, I'm Sandra Nadaf, Dean of Harvard Summer School. Here's my question. In a graduating class, the student with the highest rank is the valedictorian. What term refers to the student with the second highest rank? Yes, Isabel. Salutatorian. That is correct, and we'll move on. What despised emperor found himself blamed for the great fire that ravaged Rome in 64 AD? Andrew. Nero. Nero is correct. What Swedish word that means sandwich table refers to a buffet of various hot and cold dishes? 
smorgasbord? Yes. yes, that is correct. In the late 1800s, U.S. Secretary of State John Hay proposed an open-door policy in which no single nation would have a monopoly on trade with what country? Yes, Andrew. China. Correct. Which of the following countries has the longest coastline? Is it A, Iraq, B, Syria, or C, Somalia? Yes, Andrew. Somalia. Correct. Math question. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with how many pairs of parallel sides? Yes, Ian. One. Yes. Who assumed the U.S. presidency upon the assassination of William McKinley? Yes, Andrew. Theodore Roosevelt. Correct. Named after the Scottish town where it was discovered, what metal used in color TV tubes and red fireworks has the chemical symbol SR? Rita Hahn. Strontium. Yes. What valley on the west bank of the Nile was the main burying place of royals of the Egyptian New Kingdom, including Tutankhamun? Yes, Andrew. Luxor Valley. No, Andover. You want to try it? Yes, Rita Hahn. Valley of the Kings. Valley of the Kings is correct. Just 15 minutes and three seconds into the 2015 Women's World Cup final, what U.S. midfielder scored three goals, setting a World Cup record for fastest hat trick? Yes, Frank. Carly Boyd. That is correct. A planet with a perfectly circular orbit is scientifically defined as having which of the following? A, zero eccentricity, B, zero index, or C, zero momentum? Yes, Andrew. A. A is correct, zero eccentricity. In September 2015, what country faced mounting criticism after a stampede killed more than 700 Muslim pilgrims near the holy city of Mecca? Yes, Andrew. Saudi Arabia. Correct. Because it dissolves ionic and polar substances, what substance is known as the universal solvent? Yes, Rita Hahn. Water. Correct. Math question. For a given angle in a right triangle, what trigonometric function equals sine over cosine or opposite side over adjacent side? Yes, Isabel. Tangent. Correct. In 1673, French explorers Marquette and Joliet became the first Europeans to chart what river? Yes, Ian. The St. Lawrence. No, Lincoln Sudbury, you want to try it? Yes, Andrew. The Mississippi. The Mississippi is correct. Um, what story by Daniel Keyes is about a mentally challenged man whose IQ is tripled as the result of an experimental operation? Yes, Isabel. Flowers for Algernon. Yes. A landmark in the history of animation. What short film from 1928 starring Mickey Mouse was the first Disney cartoon with synchronized sound? Yes, Megan. Steamboat Willie. That is correct. Uh, oh, and there's the bell. That ends the round. We'll take a look at the score right now. Andover High School with a total score of 90 points. Lincoln Sudbury right now, total score 160 points. Let's hear it for both teams, guys. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we'll take a quick break, just a few minutes, to get to know the players a little bit better. I have a question. And each of you will answer the question in his or her own way. We're going to start with Andover High School and uh, Rita Hahn with you. We'll start with a question. In your opinion, what is the most underrated food and what is the most overrated food? Uh, for underrated, I'd probably say craisins. I find them fun to eat. <laughs> and for overrated, I'd go with grapefruit because I find it really bitter. Okay. Ian. Um, for underrated, blood oranges. They have an aftertaste and it's like really good. Okay, all right. For overrated, peanut butter is just gooey. <laughs> Not good. How about you, Frank? Uh, for underrated, I'd say the avocado because it's very versatile. And uh, for overrated, I'd say the pineapple because it's, uh, it's a little too sweet. Okay, and Alex? Um, for underrated, I would probably say tofu because you can kind of do anything that you want with it. And overrated, I would say blood orange. Just because it's kind of just a fancy orange. <laughs> Nothing to it. In my opinion, tofu overrated. But then again, this is not my game. This is your game. 
Uh, Lincoln Sudbury, how about you, Andrew? Um, for underrated, I'd say ice cream with sprinkles. The sprinkles are very important. They really mm -hmm. bring out mm -hmm. the excitement in ice cream. And texture. Yes. Um, and for overrated, I'd say watermelon. Um, it's, a, it's a cool fruit, but it's really just 97% water. Yeah. Yeah. No big deal. Uh, Dana? I would say the most underrated food is butter because our coach butter is very lovely and buttery. <laughs> so um, the most the most overrated food is probably Snickers. Uh, is Snickers an advertiser by any? I'm just kidding. <laughs> How about you, Megan? Um, for underrated, I would say vanilla ice cream. I mean, people say it's plain, but you know, it's the unsung hero of desserts. Mm -hmm. And then for overrated, I'm sorry, Andrew, I have to say ice cream with sprinkles. I mean, sprinkles <laughs> just ruin the ice cream. <laughs> And wrapping it up with Isabel. Um, for the most underrated food, um, sorry, Megan. Um, the I have to say ice cream with sprinkles because you know it just adds to an already great dessert. Just yeah. makes it even better. Um, and for overrated, I'd say bacon because people act like it's some sort of god, and it's not really that great. I've tried it multiple times, just mm -hmm. can't get into it. And that settles it. After the show, we're all having ice cream with sprinkles. <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're going to go head to head, and the way it works is one member from each team will come forward and go head to head. So, Andover, who's going to be? Ian and uh, Lincoln Sudbury? Andrew. All right, Ian, Andrew, come on down. We're going head to head right now. Okay, so we're going head to head right now. I've got Andrew from Lincoln Sudbury to my left, and I've got Ian from Andover High School to my right. Guys, why don't you shake hands before we start things off? And as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. And by the way, you can buzz in at any time. Uh, the clock is now set at 90 seconds. Good luck. In 2015, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake devastated what country with the capital city? Nepal. Yes. What Roman emperor ordered the building of a massive wall across northern Britain? Hadrian. Yes. In 2015, what country surpassed Canada as the largest trading partner of the United States? Yes. China. Yes. What leading poet of the 19th century was known as the Bell of Amherst? Uh. Emily Dickinson. And uh, how many right angles are in a regular pentagon? Yes. Zero. Yes. Latin for cloud. What huge cloud of dust and gas is called the birthplace of stars? Yes. Nebula. Yes. Bourbon Street is in the French Quarter neighborhood of what U.S. city? New Orleans. Yes. In 2015, fans were shocked when Zayn Malik suddenly quit. Yes. One Direction. One Direction. In 1927, who made the first nonstop solo flight? Yes. Charles Limbaugh. Yes. What country is home to 21 of the 25 most venomous snakes in the world? Brazil. No, Australia. In humans, color vision is associated with what photoreceptors in the retina? Yes. Rods and cones. No, just cones. Uh, what is the fourth book of Stephanie Meyer's Twilight series? Breaking Dawn. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for potassium? Okay. Yes. Uh, Henry VII was the first king of what English royal dynasty? Oh, and uh, there's the bell. You didn't get it. Uh, we'll take a look at the score at the end of round two. Andover, total score, 120 points. Lincoln Sudbury right now, 200 points. Let's make some noise for both teams. It's a good competition right here. All right, next up is the category round. Before we get started, we do have a quick correction to make. Uh, the judges have determined that Lincoln Sudbury's answer to the first nonstop solo flight question, Limbaugh, was incorrect. The correct answer was Lindbergh. So the corrected score now is and over 120 points of Lincoln Sudbury, 180 points. And now we move on to the category round with the following categories. Hot Rocks. Take it to the bridge, dress code, echo chamber, may I have a word, and TED Talks. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. And by the way, teams, you can confer with your teammates. Uh, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to have to get your answer. Andover, you've got some ground to make up. You get to choose the first category. I've got them in front of me. What's it going to be? TED Talks for 10. TED Talks. Uh, these are questions about famous men named 
Ted. And for 10 points, the work goes on, the cause endures, the hope still lives, and the dream shall never die. Who said this in his concession speech to Jimmy Carter at the 1980 Democratic National Convention? Yes, Andrew. Ted Kennedy. Ted Kennedy is right. So, Lincoln Sudbury, you've got the board. Category? Hot rocks. Hot rocks. New category. Questions about volcanoes. And for 10 points, when a volcano erupts, the resulting explosion shoots magma out into the atmosphere or onto the Earth's surface. At this point, the magma becomes known as what? Lava. Yes, Brian. Lava is correct. So now, Andover, you've got the board back. Category? Ted Talks for 15. Okay, for 15 points, Ted Talks. What baseball legend was the last major league player to reach a 400 batting average in a season? Yes, Rita Hahn. Ted Williams. Ted Williams is correct. You've still got the board, Andover. Uh, Ted Talks for 20. For 20 points, what U.S. senator from Texas initially denied his Canadian citizenship despite the indisputable fact that he was born in Calgary, Alberta on December 22nd, 1970. Yes, Frank. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz is right. You've still got the board, Andover. Ted Talks. Ted Talks for 25 points. In the finale of the Mary Tyler Moore Show, who is the only major character not to be fired, even though he was widely perceived as the cause of the 6 o'clock news' low ratings? Ted Baxter. The answer there, and Andover, you've still got the board. Finish the category. This time for 30 points, Ted Talks. Uh, what English poet and children's writer faced death threats from some feminists who blamed him for the suicide of his wife, Sylvia Plath? Uh, Ted Hughes is the answer there. And you've still got the board, Andover category. Hot Rocks. Hot Rocks this time for 15 points. Known as Europe's ticking time bomb, what active volcano in Italy has erupted many times since 79 A.D.? Yes, Frank? Uh, Mount Vesuvius. That is correct, and you've still got the board and over category. Hot rocks. Hot rocks this time for 20 points. What bowl-shaped volcanic depression is named after the Spanish word for cauldron? Yes, Andrew. Caldera. Yes, and now, Lincoln Sudbury, you've got the board category. Hot rocks. Hot rocks. 25 points. From the Greek, meaning weak sphere, what highly viscous, mechanically weak region below the lithosphere is where most magma is produced? Yes, Rita Hahn. Uh, the mantle. No, Lincoln Sudbury, do you want to try? The asthenosphere is the answer. Lincoln Sudbury, you've still got the board. Category? Hot rocks for 30. 30 points at stake here. Hot rocks. Three times taller than Mount Everest. Olympus Mons is the tallest known volcano in the solar system, and it's located on what planet? Mars. Re Mars is correct, Rita Hahn. So, Andover, you've got the board. You'll need a new category, though. Dress code for 10. Dress code. New category. Questions about fashion. And for 10 points. Tradition holds that white should not be worn after what American holiday? Yes, Megan. Labor Day. That's correct. All right, you've got the board, Lincoln Sudbury. Echo Chamber. Echo Chamber, new category. Uh, all answers are words that repeat for 10 points. A View to a Kill, the only James Bond theme to ever reach number one in the U.S., was released by what British new wave band? Yes, Dana. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Simon Le Bon. Uh, you've still got the board. Echo Chamber for 15. Okay. Uh, roughly translated as firstborn. What island in French Polynesia was used as a U.S. military base during World War II? Yes, Rita Hahn. Pago Pago. No, Lincoln Sudbury, you want to try it? Bora Bora is the answer there. So, Lincoln Sudbury, you've still got the board category. Stick with it. For 20 points, echo chamber. What R&B song recorded by the Kingsmen in 1963 is notable for its indecipherable lyrics and for being featured in the film Animal House? <laughs> Louie Louie. And you've still got the board. Lincoln Sudbury category. May I have a word? May I have a word? This is a new category. Uh, correctly spell the following words. For 10 points, a person who starts a business, 
Spell entrepreneur. Uh, Isabel. E N T R E P R. E N E U R. That is correct. And uh, Lincoln Sudbury have still got the board. Boy, I was so afraid of that one. Uh, category. Stick with it. You're going to stick with it. May I have a word for 15 points? Worthy or deserving of notice? Spell noticeable. Yes, Alex. N O T I C E A B L E. And that is correct. Andover, you've got the board category. Uh, stick with it. Almost like a spelling bee. Uh, for 20 points, a steady increase in loudness or force, spell crescendo. Yes, Ian. C-R-E-S-C-E-N-D-O. Yes, and uh, Andover, you've still got the board category. Stick with it. May I have a word for 25 points? To obstruct or delay legislative action, especially by making a long speech, spell Filibuster. Yes, Isabel. F I L I B U S T E R. And that is correct. Lincoln Sudbury, you've got the board back. Category? We'll stick with it. Why not for 30 points? Lacking spirit or zest? Spell lackadaisical. Isabel. L A C K A D A I S I C A L. And that is correct. Lincoln Sudbury, you've got the board, but you will need a new category. Echo chamber. Echo chamber for 25 points. Our life is frittered away by detail. Henry David Thoreau wrote this in Chapter 2 of Walden, in which he states what two-word motto for leading a happy life. Simplify, simplify is the answer. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury category. Echo Chamber. For 30 points in Gilbert and Sullivan's uh, comic opera, The Mikado. Nunky Poo is a wandering minstrel who's in love with what schoolgirl? Yes, Isabel. Yum yum. Yum yum is the correct answer. You've still got the board, Lincoln Sudbury. New category though. Let's do dresses. Okay. Dress code. 15 points. Dress code. In 2015, what French film festival came under fire for its policy on high heels? Uh, after women in flat shoes were turned away from a red carpet premiere. Yes, I am. The Cannes Film Festival. Cannes Film Festival is correct. To end over high, you've got the board back. Dress code for 20. Under the sumptuary laws of Elizabethan England, only the nobility could wear expensive fabrics like silk and satin. What color silk was reserved strictly for the royal family? Yes, Ian. Purple. Purple is correct. You've still got control of the board. No, you don't, because that's the end. Of the category round, the score right now, Andover High School, 240 points. Lincoln Sudbury, 325 points. Make some noise for both teams. Okay, here we go, the final 90 seconds of gameplay on High School Quiz Show. We call it the lightning round. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is now set. Teams, good luck. What U.S. Vice President killed Alexander Hamilton? Yes. Ever. Yes. What is the chemical symbol for the noble gas xenon? Yes, I am. X E. Yes. What U.S. state is nicknamed the Bluegrass State? Yes, I am. Kentucky. Yes. Uh, Dante wrote the Divine Comedy while he was exiled from what Italian city of his birth? Florence. What U.S. constitutional amendment deals with presidential disability and succession? 25th Amendment. The Pocono Mountains are located in the northeastern part of what U.S. state? Yes, read on. Idaho? No, Pennsylvania. Uh, what number is expressed by the Roman numeral XL? Yes, I am. 40. 40 is right. What James Joyce novel is written as a modern parallel to Homer's Odyssey? Ulysses? Yes. yes. Uh, what gland produces HGH, human growth hormone? Yes, Dana. The pituitary gland. Yes. So what present-day country is the site of the 1815 Battle of Waterloo? Yes, I am. France. No, Belgium. At the 2015 Grammys, what American singer won Album of the Year for Morning Phase? Yes, Rita Hahn. Beck. Beck is correct. Which U.S. state has the largest economy in the nation? 
Read on. California? Yes, more than 50 languages, including Russian and Bulgarian, are written using what alphabet? Yes, Andrew? Cyrillic. Yes, in 1453, what city fell to the Ottoman Turks and was renamed Istanbul? Yes, I am. Istanbul? Yes, derived from the Latin for hair, what extremely... Ah! All right. The winner this week on the High School Quiz Show is Lincoln Sudbury Regional High School with a score of 365 points and the runner-up Andover High School, 360 points. Congratulations for both teams. Lincoln Sudbury is going to move on to play in the quarterfinals, so please be sure to be back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV On Demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.